Hi, thanks for watching. Here's another bit refinery video on VCloud Director. This time we're going to go in and create a virtual machine using a published template from bit refinery. We're going to go ahead and log in. So a couple different ways you can add a V app from the catalog. You can either do it from your dashboard right here, well two places from your dashboard. You can also go into my cloud and create a new V app basically from a catalog. So let's go ahead and do that. Underneath here, if this uh, customer had any catalog items, they would show up here. We're going to go ahead and go to the public catalogs. These are the catalog items that BitRefinery is going to publish to everyone. So we're going to go ahead and pick a CentOS install. We're going to name the virtual application and we'll call it vapp CentOS. Here we can actually have it uh, stop running in a day, an hour, seven days, and then also the same thing with the storage. Here we can set the name of the host name of the server. We're going to go ahead and pick a network. The organization has been given a network called Customer One Network. Go ahead and put a static IP in here. And that's it. So let's basically pick a application from the library, give it a host name, and give it an IP address and away you go. Okay, it's been about well, about two minutes. The VM has been built. We're going to go ahead and start it up. While it starts up, we'll go ahead and check the allocation amount on the virtual data center for this customer. Oh, it hasn't since it hasn't started up yet we don't have any CPU or memory usage but here we've seen this is about this customer has about 4 gig of memory uh, a CPU and about 12, about 97 gig of storage I can go back to the console here CentOS is booting up right now. Since we used a template, basically all we have to do is add a host name and an IP. And just give it some time to start up. You can go ahead and look at this part right here under virtual data center. Now we can see that. This customer is using eh, about a little more than a quarter of their memory and just about a little less than a quarter of their, their storage. 21 gig used and 1.51 gig used for RAM. So at any time you can see measure how far you are into using your resources. We'll go back here to there's our login. So when you first set up a Windows or a Linux VM, it automatically chooses a password for you. So if I come down here to the virtual machine level and I click on properties, and click on the guest OS customization, it supplied me with a password here. So we're going to go ahead and log in. That's if I could type it right. a tough one so as you can see it's online and ready to go thanks for watching